Come on, let's go for a walk. Come on. Come on, Regis. Come here. Good boy, sis. Good boy. Yeah, come on. Good boy, stay. Okay, come on. Good boy, Regis. Good boy. Don't pee on my chair. Don't pee on my chair. Yeah. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another additional walk with Regis. Sorry about yesterday, the video cutting off and everything. I'm going to assume that my sleeve touched it or something. Alright, so today is April 20th. Today's weather will be in the, the highs will be the mid 40s. The lows will be the low 40s. There will be a 0% chance of precipitation, though we all know that some type of precipitation will fall from the ground or from the sky. I've got a few news stories for you today. Three people were arraigned on multiple violent crimes. 20-year-old Jalen Holiday has been arraigned on one count criminal possession of a weapon, one count menacing with said weapon. And let's see where where did I write that? 17-year-old co-defendant provided Holiday with the illegal gun. No, a 16-year-old provided Holiday with the illegal gun. No name, just an age. And with them is a a 17-year-old who was present during said multiple violent crimes. Though, of course, considering the what they're being arraigned for, I only saw one count of criminal, one count of menacing, so I'm not sure where the multiple comes in. Just reading what I, reading how the article was worded. Ah, oh, he found poop in the grass. The people around this neighborhood, everyone around here has dogs, but they, they don't do what I do. They don't carry around the poop bags. They don't pick up after their dog. They just leave it. And next news story. Weather and water thwarts the efforts to rescue the Sullivans. Um, yesterday, blustery, cold, 30 mile per hour winds and a mix of slush and rain prevented divers from being able to get into the water to help the Sullivans. Um, the ship has settled a little more in the water. Um, though crews are still trying. Also in the news, Buffalo Airport is still requiring everyone to wear a mask. Yep, that's a requirement, not a, not just an optional thing. Oh, here's more poop. See, the problem with leaving it in the lawn, on the grass, someone's going to come along, step on it, and they're going to spread it everywhere. Also in the news... Illegal dumping in a Buffalo neighborhood has one resident frustrated and seeking answers. The woman lives on Kearns Avenue and says that the vacant lot uh, next to her home has been used as an illegal dumping site for residents as well as contractors and people who do any kind of uh, work. She says it's got to stop. Is her and the city are looking for alternative plans to try to help prevent the legal dump dumping from happening. 
she's seen everything from furniture and toys to bags of insulation and um, scraps of wood and metal to dead dogs and cats. I don't know why you would dump your dead dog and cat if you loved it, but, you know, I would take the time to try to bury it. And last news story of the day. This was from that stupid News 4 crew who, you know, I've had such bad luck with um, trying to read their articles. So I'm only going to read the title of it. Buffalo Police Department released the body camera footage of the tasering of the rape suspect on the rooftops. I'm pretty sure if you want to watch it, just Google it. Because I know that if I clicked on it, it'd be a clickbait thing. They wouldn't show me anything. News 4 is an unreliable news source and a source of frustration. Because anytime I try to read more about an article, it's got these brackets with three dots in the inside. And you go to click on it or click read source or find some way to open up the rest of the article. There's absolutely no way to open up the rest of the article. Does he smell? Come on, Regis. Come on. And that's it for this video, guys. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you don't, you can hit the dislike button. It don't bother me any. Share if you want to. Subscribe if you want to. We will see you guys tomorrow.